This is my personal work and security-based home lab setup for 2026. This past year, I finally got into a permanent residence, so I finally have a permanent office until I'm put into the basement. So I thought I would do an update on some of my equipment. Not that I have changed very much, but kind of what I'm running and my future plans to extend my physical security-based home lab. Now this is gonna be divided into my personal setup, kind of what I'm repping, my work setup, the nine to five, as well as YouTube and the security home lab kind of infrastructure that I have today. So all of the links for the physical equipment will be in the description below. Let's begin. So my personal desktop setup. I'm going to go over kind of the computer desktop as well as just all of the peripheral devices. Starting out with my computer, my desktop, what am I repping? Well, in the summer of 2023, I actually already documented this. I built a computer, um, which is a pretty decent, powerful setup. It empowers virtual machine recording as well as handling a large amount of storage for my VM files and everything that I do. Highlights of the build include uh, an Intel Core i7 3700K, uh, 16 core CPU. I have 32, 32 gigabytes of RAM DDR4s. Uh, I did end up trying to try 128, so it'll be four in total, but I had run into a lot of issues. So I do have just two sticks just remaining right now. I have a two terabyte SSD um, solid state drive, and then also eight terabytes of just HDD storage. For my graphics card, I ended up getting an Asus Dual OC GeForce RTX 3060. Didn't need anything super powerful. I'm not a gamer. So, uh, and to hold all of this equipment is the Corsair uh, 500, 5000D case. Uh, so this is something that I'm grateful to have specifically now when RAM prices and everything is just skyrocketed. Now I am using Windows 10 for my desktop environment on the ESU updates now. And I think I've decided to finally pull the trigger after all of these years to switch over to Linux. Uh, in terms of why I've stayed on the Windows ecosystem, primarily it is due to the Adobe Creative Cloud Suite. This is what I use to edit all of my videos. And so there are some kind of alternatives that I could look to use. I will be doing a 30 day experiment using Linux as my daily OS. Um, I'm just very fed up with Windows at this point and I do have no desire to go to Windows 11. For my peripheral devices, I have two monitors. They are Dell D-Series 31 and a half inch. Uh, so I've had these since university. I've had these for about close to nine years and they've held up well. I am probably going to be looking to upgrade these in the next two years as they are a bit just pixelated, but they've been un un held up very well over time. This These monitors are sitting on a FlexiSpot E6 desk. Uh, it's a standing desk. Unfortunately, because of my tower, I do not have it in standing mode. In terms of my keyboard, I've used a Velocifier VM01 uh, brown switches for the last eight years. It's held up once again very well. It's just like a really cheap $40 keyboard. Uh, I do want to probably invest in something that's a little bit better. For headphones, I'm using Audio-Technica's ATH MX40. Again, I've had these for 10 years. They've held up very well. I've had to replace the little cushions a couple of times, but other than that, they still work out well. For a chair, I'm using the FlexiSpot Ergo X Premium Ergonomic Office Chair. It's held up well. It's comfortable throughout the day as I work either on my personal computer or on my nine to five. To power all of my equipment, I do have a UPS power supply that sits in between the outlets. This is used just to ensure safely I could uh, either surge protection or safely shut it down in case of a power outage. Although I'm really dumb and I put my desktop power outlets on the just the surge protection. So for the longest time, I didn't understand why this little UPS didn't work. Ah, little gotchas there. Quickly moving to my work and setup environment, which you can see behind me here. I have a uh, Mac OS laptop issued corporate device. I have the monitor, the big monitor here, which is a Dell. U4919, um, 49 inch curved monitor. It suited me very well the last five years or three or four years rather. Um, I have a mesh keyboard, a wired mouse, and uh, behind me here with that desk, that is also a flexi spot, adjustable height desk. It's a two tier desk um, and it, it's held up very well. I do use the standing option on this one uh, throughout my workday just to keep things interesting. 
on the YouTube setup and recording end, things really have not changed in the last three or four years. So I'm still using my original Canon uh, EOS M50 Mark II camera that I got close to eight years ago. I have two little Gecko 77 inch tripod stands. I have a Rode VideoMic Go that sits on top of my camera. I have this Focusrite audio interface uh, that plugs into a Shure SM58 Pro. I think it's decent enough. And for lighting, I have a little lamp here and you can see that lamp that I stole from my parents. Um, and the microphone stand, unfortunately, I don't know which model number this is, but it's like a $40 microphone stand on uh, Amazon. In addition, when it comes to screen recording, I do have a little webcam, a Logitech 4K webcam. Uh, the rec recording quality and just the overall camera quality is not good. So I am probably going to look to either switch out this Canon M50 as my, basically my video recorder and get a new camera eventually. I'm not exactly sure yet. Happy to uh, feel free to list. Switching over to my physical security home lab, it still has a lot of developments. So I have a lot of my home lab just based in virtual machines and cloud environments. Uh, and I am looking to really extensively build this out over the next couple of years as I'm in this permanent residence. So just starting out with some little pet projects. Uh, I do have a Raspberry Pi that is running AdGuard. Uh, this is a DNS level blocker, as well as a Raspberry Pi running OpenVPN access server. So that if I am traveling and I want to appear to be coming from my uh, ISP issued IP address, I can log in through there. Now, in terms of my router, I have a Unify Dream Machine. Uh, this is something that I bought three years ago and it's treated me very well. Uh, I really enjoy the Unify product suite and you know the UI interface. In terms of the configuration, I do have a ISP issued router and modem that came pre-bundled in the same physical device. So I do have NAT hairpinning set up between the two routers, which allow me to basically locally route my uh, various different devices through the Unify first. Um, so I really would highly recommend checking out that router if you're looking for something that is more powerful and, and better than just the default. Finally, in terms of the things that are sitting in my basement, I have a Palo Alto PA220 that has been sitting there for five years. And so I am looking to actually build a video and content around that eventually. It is an older firewall, but it would be kind of fun to have something sitting in my local network. Uh, and so in terms of future improvements, kind of what I want to do, well, this year I think is the year that I'm finally going to pull the trigger on a media server. So I am going to look to get a Synology a DS923, uh, four bay NAS, and some eight terabyte Barracuda Seagate hard drives. Um, so I am kind of looking to store photos, images, maybe some streaming content on there um, as it's just finally time uh, to put the media server in use. I would also eventually maybe like to get some older switches, um, maybe some, maybe an actual physical server rack. I mean, that is kind of the, the ideal thing that I would love to have one day. Um, but in terms of other content or other updates, uh, maybe new monitors, but that's about it. I know my setup isn't very sophisticated. I know my lighting, my ambiance, and really, you know, there's so much more I could do. Uh, you know, from my perspective, what I look to do with my setup is just make it something that's practical in the everyday. All right, so that is my setup for the year of 2026. More to come in terms of my home lab content. And, well, until the next time, have a good day.